So it's taken us an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half to get to the um, crash site for the B-29 bomber. So we are sat literally where the aircraft came down. As I said, it was a B-29. I think we kind of sat where the furrow was ploughed, but from what I've read, it's a good two miles across the, across the hilltop, the wreckage is spread. Um, but this wasn't the only crash. I mean, there were loads and loads of crashes during the Second World War across the Peak District. Um, but I think this is one of the only ones where there's remains you can come and see. So I'm like, yeah, I would say good team effort to get up here, boys. Well done. Yeah. It's, quite, it's a very sad story, actually, what happened to this Super Fortress aircraft, because all 13 crew members were killed on impact. So it was a daytime flight. It was a photographic air reconnaissance aircraft. And it only just left their base in Warrington and they thought they'd cleared this ridge of hills, but because of the low cloud, they actually hadn't cleared them, they just went straight into the hillside. Just as simple as that, daytime. Um, but the aircraft before that had actually been quite famous because it had helped photograph nuclear testing at Bikini Atoll. Um, but it's just incredible that so much of it was aluminium and that's why it's still here. But it's quite moving really, just to know these, those, you know, those 13 airmen lost their lives here.